Hello all, no respawns, hope you're doing well. So we're at Nordhagen Beach, and this is my watchtower. Now this was inspired, I was thinking of, as one does, thinking of Fallout New Vegas, the one by Obsidian. And I was thinking of Novak specifically, which is the place with the dinosaur in front of it, where you meet Boone, the sniper. It's really cool. You should play New Vegas if you haven't already, but you probably have. And I really like the setup of that town, because it's kind of, um, it's a guard tower. Obviously the dinosaur will look cooler than this. This looks cool, but it doesn't look cool as a dinosaur. But it's a guard tower, but it's mainly more of a watchtower, so keeping an eye on the road, um, and also kind of like spotting traders as they're kind of coming down the bridge. Also, as you notice, those raiders leaping. I got attacked by raiders, basically. Just as I've recorded. Sorry, I leave the corpses there, and they kind of add a little bit more aesthetic to the front of me, uh, the wee watchtower. So I like the idea, and I wanted to kind of replicate that. Uh, I may, might not even be surrounding this settlement with a wall, I might just kind of give it a kind of like more of a chain link fence kind of vibe, which is why I wanted this as kind of a set piece for when you're running off the bridge rather than necessarily a giant ass wall. So as you can see, I've just kind of used prefabs to kind of get the inside structure together first. I put that one on the bottom just to kind of act as a little bit of a foundation just for the fact that the the ground was a bit slopey. But basically these are my, I have two rooms and then there'll be a top bit. Now this took me ages, because you'll see how I do the, um, because I want stairs going all the way up the side, right? But due to the way the stairs set up in this game, we can't really make stuff... Uh, stairs don't work very well, <laughs> basically. Thin stairs, you'll see what I mean. I have to kind of be a bit ingenious, to the point where you may notice that it looks like I know what I'm doing. That's because I do, at least for most of it. No, which is why I built this for about 40, 50 minutes earlier and then had to redo it because the footage was just way too scrappy and messy. So right, also the build areas, this is really weird, it kind of like slopes, as you can see. So what I'm doing here, this is super clever, this is my clevers. Um, I've decided I fall in love with these invisible rugs, no, so even more than normal. The reason being, as you can see, I can make a wee little chain and what's useful about these is I can use them as a platform to put things which would normally be difficult as hell. Now obviously this is inspired a little bit by that little walkway I did in Echo Lake Lumber Mill recently on the top of the wee house. Or the not so wee house. And basically I'm kind of slightly replicating that. It's not as complex and when I originally did this I did make it a little bit more ostentatious with loads of kind of plywood but eventually I just literally use this bit here I think I might put something on the end but then I change my mind because I don't need as much space as I realized because originally what I'd done is put the you know the, the, the normal boards there but similar to how Echo Lake the Echo Lake lumber mill video if you just use the kind of the little square floor pieces they just look a little bit noticeable and blocky like that looks a bit messy so don't we? we do tidy this up quite a bit and yeah it's just it's really difficult to kind of get a thin staircase going up the side of something that goes up more than one floor. It just, it looks a little bit weird, but I'm quite pleased and chuffed with how this, you see I've just taken it all off because it's not necessary. Um, but I'm quite pleased with how all of this worked out. It was a little bit of a confuzzling to figure it out. I also learned something about these ladders because basically at the height is, you'll see in a second, I'm going to use the stairs from the scaffolding, right? But it's either too long, or it's too short. And I was like, oh no, because basically these are the thin ones, and also they snap on the side. There's a wooden thin ladder, but it snaps on the center. Whereas this, it snaps on the side, so what I can do is fuck up a little bit. I don't know why it was sinking in the ground. It doesn't even know why it was sinking in the ground. It didn't even do it again, in fact, after this. It just, I, I, don't, I don't know why it, it, it did that. It was just being a bit of a knob, really. Also, I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, I'm putting loads of these large rugs. Again, rugs, awesome, big ones, yeah, great. Don't forget to take these off. When I went to decorate this, I couldn't get up, and I was really confused for ages. Then I remembered I had loads of invisible rugs that I couldn't get through. So, yeah, basically, you can just kind of rug glitch them in to the other staircase, and it works a treat, as you can see, which is great, because it kind of opens up new options with using staircase. I didn't realise these would be so easy to kind of squeeze in. Because you see, we've got the little staircases. That, what happens basically instantly is I, I forget to take the little rugs off and I can't get back up. Um, but no, we've got the um, the little staircases. But, like, the wooden ones. But they just, yeah, it's, it's just easier. Let's see what I'm doing is I'm just kind of 
populace in here, like this. But yeah, it's, it's quite difficult to... The problem is, what in the ideal world, what we'd have is we'd have ladders, but there are no ladders in this game. Are there? No, no, there are no, no, no ladders in this game. I have to just remember if there aren't any ladders. There are no ladders in this game, which is really frustrating. Because, you know, with ladders, I could just make, like, one ladder going up the side and you just jumped off, you know, when you're on the floor you needed or something like that. With this, I have to do this kind of incredibly ostentatious and confusing little setup. I do love these things, which I'm going to use right here. These are the ball track supports. These are great. I love them. Uh, when I put them on, they're really, 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 like, straight and organized. I kind of do twist them around a little bit when I do the decorate, when I went to decorate it a little bit. But in hindsight, I probably should have made them a weird angle or kind of mis mi mixed them up a little bit when I was doing this. So just kind of quick note here. Don't do what I'm doing right here and keep them kind of perfectly straight because it does, does look a little weird. Mix them up, like turn some, you know, horizontally or something, but nah, it's all right. It's all right. It looks tidy, I guess. I mean, that's not really my thing, but oh well, it's fine. So also, we've got, because I mentioned this a lot, how I, I you know, I, certain things have weird okay so you see that what that bridge i just placed there the mod dev for unlock seven objects andrew must have recently fixed that because normally you can't place that down without first snapping it onto the other bridge and as you can see due to the flat surface it's a significantly better bridge for using as a support than the other one that we have you see the one that's doing the little rotating thing in the bottom just a quick note basically good bridge and it's been fixed now also i take that stupid fence off because it looks shit. Doesn't look very good, to be honest. Looks at the bollocks. There we go, now we're gonna put some stuff here. I like these Covenant turret stands and they're a little bit weird with their snapping. You can stick them to stuff randomly and I tend to not question it, but I can never interpret, shall we say, <laughs> how they're gonna snap. I've snapped them onto random shit and then sometimes they do work and they don't work. I don't decorate this this much because I don't know exactly what kind of look I want to go for this. But I put a little... What I would probably, when I do the junk decoration for the whole settlement, is I'm probably going to have this as kind of a little sniper's perch up here. So like, you know, a little kind of table and well, I have a, I have a chair. But it's stuffy. It's sniper's perch. Imagine Boone's up there. I'm going to have a sniper. I don't also know if my settlers will get up there. I think if I popped a, um, one of the, one of the mods that have all the rugs that get your settlers to do shit, I hate that little kid. I can't assign him a job anymore. It's pissing me off. Because I deleted his little farm. But I'm, I imagine if I get one of those mods which has the rugs, I can probably get a guy to just stand up at the top permanently and just kind of snipe shit. It'll be cool. But until then, we'll just settle for it being unmanned. So, this part is where it just kind of adds the detail on. So, this is... These are just... I love these tap stupid jump walls so much. Also, that little fucking shit. Look at him. Look at him. Just wander, he just wanders back and forth, the little prick. These are pretty straightforward, and I've done this technique before, and it works really, really well. This is what kind of popped into my head as a really cool idea of just grabbing these and just putting them aside and then having them as supports. And it worked really, really well. I'm actually incredibly pleased with how this looked. Just using the pillar glitch, squeezing them in. They're pretty difficult. You basically, you can see how I'm making it so you can see the bit of the wall going through just pull it back a little bit that way you don't see it kind of clipping through on either side they're also a little bit too high i forgot to show it because I, I forgot to fix it but basically what i did is just pillar glitched some boards you'll see in the tour underneath because he just situationally to this area because obviously it's a little bit too high normally this is well, you know a flat surface obviously they're floating a little bit so you'll see in the tour i walked past it but i just literally just pillar glitched some like the little half chest high wall things in like the the railings into it so it just looks like they're covered up but you'll see that in a wee sec you see it's really coming together isn't it it almost looks because yeah i wanted it kind of a watchtower i was also kind of thinking it could be um slightly like uh what do we call it like a siege tower or something <laughs> i thought that might be potentially a cool thing to do like it, it's it's a watchtower but it's also slightly a siege tower even though obviously it doesn't move. But it does have siege tower elements to it, which is quite cool. Bit of a nightmare. There's one of my raiders. I shot him with a, there's his mate behind him, see in the back, the big pile of goo. Shot him with a plasma gun, mate, yeah. That one there I beat to death, because I've 
put a couple of points into because I'm now like 109 or something so I've got all my points into shit that I don't really need anymore but I think it was the one where it's bash so I beat him to death with my with my plasma gun that was great fun vaporized his mate I've got a mod basically that stops all settlement attacks because I'm just completely sick of them however they don't you don't get kind of your settlement is under attack anymore but what happens is when you're at your settlement you still get attacked while you're there which is quite cool so right here we go Torah coming. There we go. So I've added bits and pieces, a bit of light, a bit of death claw, made it a bit more of a, a kind of a sign, I guess, to kind of advertise the, the settlement. And I put a little, a couple of bits so you can see a little guard post in the bottom. Hope you guys liked that. This is quite cool. I like this. This is kind of, oh, I forgot to take that bloody lamp. Damn it. You see those lights there? They're meant to be under the death claw head. And I've only just noticed I've forgotten to move them. So sorry. Forgive me. That, that's just, I've made a terrible er error. To be honest, I might as well unsub. Anyway, I'll have another video up soon. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Hopefully make some cool towers. This is funky. Use these giant junk fences. Seriously, they are the shit for this kind of stuff. You guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.